holiday at number one. Get your breakfast from Morrison's on the 8.50 instead of 30 quid. Costa Tegiza, right on the seafront, as you can see. There's a lovely restaurant here called La Taberna del Mar, and as the name suggests, it is right on the sea. You couldn't get any better there, and you can stand and have a fag there if you wish. And Hazel's ordered, I think. We'll go see what she's got to say. So, Hazel, have you ordered something nice? Yes, we have. Lovely. <laughs> So here's our food on our first night in Banzarotti. We've got the Eberico pork, which comes with a selection of vegetables. We've got a Greek salad on the side. Some lovely looking chips. And what's that steak you've got there, Hazel? Fillet. And Hazel's got a nice fillet steak, one of her staple favourites. All looks beautiful. We'll see how it looks in a moment. So perfectly located for your lunch. It's a fuel stop. Costa to Giza. I don't think you should get a more perfect place to go get your lunch, so we'll go inside in a moment and see what they've got to offer. So the fuel stop right on the beach front at Costa to Giza. Lovely nice little spot and there's some covered terraces here. So we opted for the classic cheeseburger which looks absolutely lovely chips to share and the classic hangover burger which looks like is a burger with a fried egg and again that looks absolutely delicious and of course Hazel's ruined it with some sauce as you do. Good evening again this is day two of our trip to Lanzarote and we're at the Beijing Chinese buffet restaurant which isn't your normal kind of buffet you can in fact choose what you want you can have as much as you want and it's only 10 euros 80 I think for adults which isn't bad at all and it's on Las Cucaras beach which is a bit of a walk on from where we're staying but it's not bad and Hazel just finishing off the prawn toast here and everything's cooked fresh to order so did you like it mm. good we'll see what comes next so here we are guys we're still at the Beijing and you can see our wonderful food has now come so we've got some lovely beefy noodles not a lot there, but we did order a lot. Some nice boiled rice, some lovely looking duck, and I think this is actually quite nice. It's rather tasty actually. And some nice spare ribs, some noodles, and a bit of chicken for here as well there. And something else just about to come here. It looks nice, I think it's a bit of beef. Thank you very much. I'm supposed to film, not film down. Thank you very much. And that's a nice bit of beef there. Looks good. So we'll see how we get on with this. See if we can eat it all. You've got your, film, you've got your thumb over the lens. I didn't, but I have to now. So we're on Costa Tagiza Beach front again. At Las Cucaras Beach. Good selection of things going on. And we're going to try this Namaste here, curry house. Since we're from Yorkshire, we are used to having many curries. We'll see what this one's like. We'll see you again in a moment. So a starters have come now, it looks like, oh look, we've got a nice pickle tray, we didn't ask for that, so that's nice and complimentary, and um, I've got um, a chic kebab, which is unusual in its presentation, however, I find it quite interesting like that, I bet it's lovely, and Hazel has got her usual, um, what are they Hazel? Chicken pakaras. Chicken pakaras, and they do look lovely actually, to be fair, so we'll get tucked into that and see what we think. Thank you very much. Looks lovely. Thank you. Thank you. So, and a bit of a wait here, but we've got some nice, very nice looking nan breads here. Hazel's usually adventurous. Chicken biryani. No, it's not a chicken biryani, sorry. It's a chicken korma. It looks lovely. Oh, she's having a bit of my biryani, which is fine. She won't eat it be too hot. And then we've got a nice bit of sauce with biryani. So all in all, I think probably worth the wait. It looks lovely. So we'll tuck in. 
So we're at Costa Teguisa again. This is uh, an old staple restaurant. This is Pablo's Italian restaurant. I think it's been here for donkey's years. So we're gonna give this a go, see what we think. It looks quite busy, but I don't think you need to book. So we'll speak to you again when we've got us food. So the fillet was cooked to perfection. The chips were nice, but very, very tight portion. You've got about six. And the salad totally ruined by shoving bloody tuna all over it. Is that devil's? Stand. Is that devil's food? Yes. We're right on beach again in Costa Teguisa. This little establishment, Surf Wings, has been here since 1978 apparently, and um, it was here before there was anything else here, before it was all developed. So we're going to go inside, and apparently it used to be a famous ice cream parlour, but I think they do a bit of general all sorts of food now, but I'm hoping they still do the nice ice creams. So we'll catch up with you again in a minute. So here we are in Surf Wings, I'll take my glasses off so you can see me better. So we've got this lovely Jamaica cocktail. I thought there might be something sparkly in the top and it'll be on fire, but it's not, but it's nice anyway. A bit uh, smaller than we thought, but we'll give it a go, guys. And we've got some nice cups of coffee here to round off our night. And um, we'll speak to you later. We're in Costa Teguisa again, and we're going to investigate a place that's in the little village. So this is called the Tex-Mex and I don't know about the reputation. I didn't like the look of it, but uh, Hazel's right up to the menu there. So we'll see what it like, see what it looks like. Does the menu look reasonable? It does, all yeah, right. Well, we might give that a shot then. We'll see you again in a minute. Hi guys, we're at the Hacienda, again in Costa Teguisa. Looks uh, very nice. I think it's a chain restaurant, but anyway, we've opted for, um, I can't remember what that's called, but it looks, it looks absolutely burrito. It looks absolutely lovely. I think it's chicken I opted for. Nice little selection. And we seem to have a very nicely put together salad here. Um, very artfully put together. They've given us a selection of dips over here. And Hazel has gone for the lasagna, which again looks an art form in itself. And a few chips on the side, because you've got to have your chips, haven't you? And again, they look absolutely lovely. So we're going to be tucking into this now, guys. Enjoy your evening. So the Surf Wings, Surf Corner, Cafe Bar, which is a little German cafe, possibly a little hidden gem that I've been recommended. Um, it's in the surfer's bit of Las Cucaras Beach, again in Lanzarote, um, slightly off the beaten track, but um, we thought it certainly might be worth a look. So we'll catch up with you again in a minute. So here we are guys. We've gone in the Surf Wings German Cafe and I have a beautifully, beautifully cooked bratwurst with fried potatoes known as brat kartoffeln. Looks absolutely lovely. Nice bit of mustard there. And Hazel's gone for the burger with chips and some sauce. And that looks bloody lovely as well. Well, this is the Habana 6 and it's an unassuming looking restaurant in the middle of the market square in Costa Teguisa. Looks like it's been here a long time. I think it's Cuban and I think you're supposed to have a reservation. So we're going to try his look, see what we think. Oh, she's looking at the menu already. Mm, what do you think you're fancying? Lamb. Mm. Lamb? Mm. And canary right. and potatoes. And canary and potatoes, yeah. right. We'll give that a go then, see what we think. Well, we're in Havana 6 and uh, our meal's come, so we've both got the lamb. Mine's medium rare. Um, Hazel's is well done. Um, got some canary and potatoes and we've got a side salad. And um, the staff think we're mad, we think we've got far too much food and the challenge is I'm going to eat it while we're washing up, I've been told. So, right guys, let's get on with it. Right guys, so we're going to try a bit of uh, late night after alcohol takeaway. So, right next to the Galleon Player Hotel.
apartments you will see a lovely little cafe here called Pasta and Pizza by Enzo so we're gonna see what they've got to offer looks a tempting little place right guys so what we've got here is what he called a kebab pizza quite unusual this looks like it's um, kebab stuff with salad on top wrapped in uh, like a, a pizza shell never seen out quite like it we'll see what that's like a few chippies of course and uh, a little tiramisu can't get the lid off but I'm sure that will be very nice so we're gonna tuck in and we will let you know so we're just approaching Varley now, which is, which is one of the, the lesser known but brilliant sandwich shops in Costa Teguisa. Um, where it's located is between the Playa Bastia and the Jab Jablilo Beach, I think. And it's near Gallium Playa here. So we're going to pop in here and have a coffee and cake and see what we think of it. Talk to you in a minute. Right guys, well we've not been disappointed, we've got a lovely club sandwich here, a few chippies thrown in, gracias, lovely hot coffee here, more um, cost than we expected, however, this is very nice, and here's got a lovely piece of apple cake here, and two nice dollops of cream, so we'll get tucked into that, it looks delicious.